Developing in Maryland, a shocking first day of school for some students in Frederick County yesterday after a student armed with a knife was arrested and charged for threats of mass violence. Fox 5's Melanie Alwick joins us now live from Governor Thomas Johnson High School with the latest on this investigation. Melanie. Good morning, and this time yesterday, it appears a violent clash was brewing. Students coming to school this morning told me that they think it was gang related and the school resource officer apparently stepped in between two groups of students when they saw a disturbance uh, beginning to form and uh, they said that they were able to separate these two groups of students. It was 9.05 in the morning and we're told the school resource officers uh, got the two main uh, students who were in conflict with each other away from each other and then one of them escorted over to an area with the school resource officer and some school administrators and that student allegedly then pulled a knife and the sheriff's office says the student began threatening to harm classmates and the student resource officer the officer then pulled out his taser and said he would use it if the student didn't put the knife down the taser was never deployed the student dropped the knife but more deputies actually had to be called into the school to calm the situation and take the student into custody the sheriff's department said this is not how we wanted the school year to start however adding it's not a reflection on the high school community and the community is praising the officers actions hundreds of comments on the sheriff's department post notifying people what happened a lot of people um, in support including these three here someone saying whoever thinks that the SROs are not needed needs to take a hard look at what it takes to protect our kids in the world today adding great job another what a way to begin the school year thank you to all SROs we need your service in schools more than ever another applauding the school resource officer in this situation adding uh, they're needed in our schools today Thank you for keeping our students and staff safe. Now, the schools did notify the parents right about 9.59 a.m. of the first incident and then continued with updates throughout the day. The principal in a message to families said that acts of harm are counter to our school culture and are responsibly swift and decisive. As you mentioned, that student is now being charged as an adult with a number of very serious charges. His name is not being released because he is just 16 years old.